everyone. E Chip and I wanted to share with you how we made the wagons for the subscriber giveaway. We looked at designs online and in hardware stores, and E Chip came up with a design which improved on the weaknesses of the other styles that we saw. One of the things that he improved upon is the number of stakes on the gate. You'll notice that ours has more stakes, which improves the stability and the strength of the sides. One of the major flaws we noticed was that sides were real floppy and loose and appeared to maybe break pretty easily. Yes. And some of them we saw were actually already broken and you know still on display in the stores for people to buy. So that's one of the improvements that we made. But we wanted to use nice, strong materials and so each chip selected hickory. Historically, hickory has been used for wagon wheels, pickaxe handles, shovel handles, and things like that because of its strength and its durability. The species of hickory we used in the wagons is found only in North America. We also wanted to use stainless steel as much as possible to keep it from rusting. We wanted to build a wagon with good weight capacity. The undercarriage has the ability to hold about 800 pounds. Both E. Chip and I stood in the wagon at the same time with no problems. I learned a lot in building the wagons. I was able to use some machinery I have not used before, a bandsaw, a planer, a joiner. Whoever wins this wagon should be very happy with it. It's handmade. It's going to be a great addition to anyone's home. So anyway, I'm gonna take you on our journey to build this lovely wagon. as to how this thing works because the wood just pushes through by itself mostly but sometimes not so each chip's going to tell me well this is a thickness planer to adjust the thickness of your wood okay this hand crank either cranks the planer up or down depending on the thickness you want there's a little ruler on the side here that you know tells you that that can help you determine you know what thickness is at right now i've got it set at about a half inch and then there are two wheels. There's, there's a drive wheel about here and one further back. And those sort of rest in between the blade. There's a set of spinning blades in between. Okay. As the wood is fed through, it's held down by the first wheel, okay, which sort of pushes it through. It's got a, drive, got a drive gear on it, so it helps push the wood through. Then it hits the blade where it's plain, it's chopped to the thickness we want. Then it rides against another wheel, which continues to hold the wood down and flat so that you don't get a difference in thickness as it goes through. I wanna... So you get a nice uniform thickness. Then it pushes it out the other side. Now the reason some of this wood, as you can see right here, this was plain, but this didn't get anything. And the same thing here is because these areas of the wood were higher than others. And I have the thickness set, you know, to a half inch right now. Most of this wood is less than a half inch thick, so it was really just hitting the high spots at first. But now, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna adjust this downward, about an eighth of an inch. Okay, go to three eighths of an inch. Okay, lock it down. We'll run this through again. It'll take a little bit more material. Oh. And we'll keep going until we get, mm, I, I prefer that these stay at three eighths of an inch. I don't know if it's going to happen. Might have to go a little thinner. In fact, I want to bring this up a little bit from 3 eighths, just in case. It smells good too. It's and hickory. look, it's really soft. Uh huh. Or smooth, I should say. Is that the top part that came out? Uh huh. Okay. As you can see, it got more of it this time. There's still a few areas that need to be planed down. Okay. But for the most part. Now what you want to do is you want to alternate sides. Okay, oh. so next time we pass it through, we'll pass through the other side. So I need we'll, to keep we'll it. We'll turn up. it upside down like that and pass it through so we can get this side planed. Oh. And we'll keep alternating back and forth each time we pass it through. 
until we get to the thickness we want. Hopefully we won't have to go too thin on this stuff. This so. is really pretty. Yeah, hickory is... Uh, I like the way it smells too. Hickory is a nice clear wood. It's a, uh, I don't think it's particularly pretty, but it's strong as can be. And uh, it's very durable oh. wood. It's hard. This is one of the hardest uh, hardwoods there is. And a great American hardwood is what I love about it. artistic flair on these stakes. So I'm using the bandsaw to kind of trim an arc in them and then we're going to shape them better with a, a belt sander. sort of looks like a piano but it's not these lovely shiny black pieces are part of the prize we have a little decoration to go with it so all of these things here are included Ourselves. 
what is it? Come join me. You look like you're in experimental theater or something like that with these odd backdrops. Experimental theater. Master of theater. Experimental theater. The ER 8111B12. Contentment wagon from E. Chip and Robber. Pull it. Pull it. <laughs> you think it won't pull? Oh, do you need some help? Run with it. <laughs>